Last week, Marush Washjak lost his immunity, and now Donald's people have gone straight to work. The military counterintelligence service has informed the public prosecutor that Marush Washjak may have committed a crime. According to them, the former defense minister broke the law by publishing scandalous plans for Poland's defense from the time of Donald Tusk's first government. I not only had the right to present these materials to the public, but I believe I had a duty to do so. Why? Because those in power today cannot go back to them, and that is an achievement, a great achievement. Public opinion will not allow it. During Donald Tusk's first government, the plan was to surrender the whole of eastern Poland without a fight in the event of a Russian invasion. The line of defense was to run along the river Vistula, this would have meant the Russian occupation of almost half of our country. This makes Minister Shemioniak's statement all the more shocking. When I saw Minister Błaszczak waving those plans around, it is true that they have been replaced by new ones. But most of them are the same. The locations do not change. River cities, forests in Poland, natural obstacles in Poland. And the defense of Poland is based on that. At the same time, the politician admitted that the plans are now in the archives, but he also made the Copernican discovery that the Vistula flows in the same place as it did eight years ago. Professor Swavomir Senkiewicz put the head of the Ministry of the Interior on blast. But this is utter stupidity. I understand everything, but not such an argument, that it is a crime to reveal your defence plans on the strategic border based on the Vistula because it reveals cities and rivers whose locations do not change. Do the enemies of Poland not know these positions? Your stupidity gives me a headache. Are you serious, Mr. Shemoniak? Do you hear what you are saying? It is an insult to logic and to the dignity of the state. You are a double minister. The inhabitants of Bucho or Erpin in Ukraine, where the Russians carried out mass murders, have fully experienced what Russian occupation means. Moreover, the surrender of the entire eastern part of Poland is clearly unconstitutional. The armed forces of the Republic of Poland shall serve to protect the independence of the state and the indivisibility of its territory, and to ensure the security and inviolability of its borders. Politicians from Donald Tusk camp have repeatedly shown their dislike for Eastern Poland. The clearest statement was made by Vladimir Karpinski in the Sova Ipsia Cella restaurant. <laughs> to hell with Eastern Poland. Plans to surrender the whole of Eastern Poland were put into practice by liquidating military units in, among other places, Siedlce or Lublin. <laughs> The commanders were mentally prepared for this kind of thinking because of the actual state of affairs, i.e. the level of armament and the number of armed formations the Polish armed forces had at their disposal. The action of the military counterintelligence service against Marshal Błaszczak takes on a second meaning when we look at the decision-making division of this body. The current deputy head of the SKW is Colonel Krzysztof Dusza. He was one of the main protagonists of the reset with Moscow during the first civic platform government. It was he who took part in drinking sessions with the Russian officers. And it was he who was responsible for the disgraceful agreement by which Polish services began to cooperate with Russian ones. Today, these same people want to put Marosz Błaszczak on trial.